What's up, duelers? It's Nerp here, and now I am back to rank zero elite division. So now that I'm there, uh, I've stopped playing all Vitruvian and Lionar because once you're at zero uh, ranking, you can't go lower than that. So as, no matter if I lose like 10 games in a row, I'm still going to be rank zero. So that means it gives me a chance to just play other decks. That's why I see Songhai here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play with uh, each faction so I can level it up to level 11 and unlock all the basic cards. It's unfortunate that I had to disenchant like all the cards for everything besides Lion Armor and Trubian, so none of these decks I'll have for Songhai, Busy, and Nagmar or Vanna are going to be very optimized. But uh, for, so far I've been using the Songhai basic deck with a few modifications and it's been... It's been doing pretty well. I mean, I've been winning most of my matches. It's, I made it really aggressive uh, with like guys like Thor Needler. So I've been winning about like I'd say like half of my games at this level uh, with a beginner song high deck. Uh, so let's just do that here. Um, so song high is the faction. Uh, it might be the most aggressive. Actually, I think it might be the most complicated. Uh, you don't play very normally. Um, it can deal big bursts of damage with his backstab. Uh, it matter. It relies a lot on positioning, so it might be a little tough. After I'm, I'm actually at like level like eight with Songhai or something, I think. So after this, I think I'm gonna switch to. I'm gonna try to level up Magmar, and then I guess Abyssinian and then Vesuvian. Just go in order. So I just faced. Uh, Mogwai on ladder. I'm not sure you know who he is. He is a, uh, I think he's one of the best duelist players. He also uh, posts some duelist videos on YouTube. Uh, I think he's pretty popular on there. I think he's Mega Mogwai. I just I just ran into him, and um, seems like a nice guy. But his, uh, we played a Songhai Mirror match, and um, he, I mean I made it kind of close towards the end, but it looked like he was gonna win there the whole time. So I still have a lot to learn. Uh, I guess I'll just replace everything. Uh, I don't really like these turn one Primus Fists, but really what choice do I have, right? I'll get rid of the Saber Sense. Feel. Alright, come on. Randomly play a range creature next turn, I'll be happy. Yeah, turn one Primus Fist just doesn't really do that much because you don't increase the attack of anything. I have two Phoenix Fires. We're looking for more backstab guys. My only uh what's he doing? Okay. My only backstab guys are uh the two drop three twos. You know what I'm talking about? I need more of those. I think there's more. I'm not sure if they're basic cards though. Uh yeah, I just I'll play this. Three three. I'm not destroying a ranged creature, but whatever. And I'm actually going to keep this in. Okay, cool. So now I have a uh, Blood Rage Mask, which can add up damage. Makes both of these deal 4 damage, in effect. Alright, this guy I'm not really too afraid of. I see some people play Aether Master, but really replace an additional card issue. And I guess you can have the draw you're looking for more often, but playing a... 1, 3 for 2 for that effect, like at this point in the game, I just don't think it does that much. Alright, fine, you can put that back in my action bar, not a huge deal. And I'm tempted to go face. Uh, what he only has 3 cards in hand, so I don't really feel the need to play the high hand this turn and move up. So I'll just stay down here with my general, and... Let's go. Let's get rid of the crossbones now. Okay, uh, Mana Forger is interesting. I'm not going to do that right now, though. Do I take out the Aether Master or do I take out his General? I'm going to take, or not take out the General, just deal damage to the General. Uh, I think I would rather maximize my damage and just 
try to destroy this general. Yeah, like I said, I need this deck as aggressive as I can make it. Like, I have these Thorn Needler guys. Do I play this just to play it? Because I'm going to draw two cards next turn. No, I'm not going to. Because what I could do is just play it because I'm not really losing a card. Because then now I'm losing a card that I didn't draw. But I don't want to really lose his durability when this guy attacks my general. Or this guy. So, maybe I should have, I don't know. But now I, I have, like, combo stuff in my hand. Okay, so you're gonna kill that, I guess. Or hit me. It's gonna hit me. Okay, so. If I were to play the Mana Forger, then everything would be a lot easier to play. I think we might be close to winning. So if I put this. Let's just see how much damage I do. So that's three, then I do six. Plus. 3 is 9, and then we go to 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. Then we get plus 1 damage for each of these. We go 17. Okay, I think that's the game. And I just, to be able to play all of that, I don't even think I need to place the Mana Forger. Or I can. Okay, is that game? Let's see. So, I'm going to play this. Plus three attack. Plus three attack. Deal some damage. Deal some damage. Yeah, this is what Song Hai does. Can just do huge bursts of damage with all the spells. And I have more than enough damage. I didn't have to use my general. Wow. That uh, was quick. Oh, I'm actually almost level 10 with Song Hai. Okay, very cool. Yep, Elite Division. And, oh, I didn't even check my quest today. I'm not going to be doing a visiting today, so let's see what else. Vitruvian. Okay, maybe I'll do this, some of that later, so I just so I can get the gold. Uh, yeah, it's, I guess it's good to have to play multiple factions in that sense. You'll probably gain more gold per day, because a lot of those quests are just, where it just asks you to play four games with a certain faction. So that was a quick game. I'll see if I can get one more in this video. Up, oh, we're facing Mogwai again, who I said I faced earlier, but he beat me. It was kind of close, though. Uh, I'll replace everything. Yeah, I, want, I definitely want something to play on turn two. Or turn one, actually. And this is, this is something to play on turn one. Uh, I don't want to get rid of the inner focus. I think I'm going to, though. I will... Yeah, I'll get rid of it. Alright, well... I'll just play this up here, I guess. I don't really have anything else to play. Not exactly what I want here, but whatever. I had the spells to make him actually effective, though. Aw, oh, man. Well, at least my general can finish this off. Or I could use my tiger to finish it off. Let's see. I want to kill it because if I don't, it's gonna be. Uh... Wait, does it go back to his action bar even if I don't kill it? I don't really know. Was I reading this card wrong? What I was thinking, like, if I don't kill this thing, it's gonna go back to his action bar. But if I do kill this thing, I don't even know. Well, I guess I'm gonna kill it. We'll find out what happens. Uh, let's get rid of the repulsor beast. Uh, so I guess I'll play this this turn. Do I play here just so I don't have to take any damage? Um, let's just deal damage to his general. Do I increase the attack by three? Eh. I don't really see the point of doing that at this point in the game, I mean, because maybe I should save stuff like that when I have the artifact on me so I can deal more damage to him. Oh, so he did not get in his hand, it's still four. Okay, so I, when you just, that only goes back to your hand if you don't destroy it. Yeah, this is a guy I need, Gorehorn. 
I would like to get one of him. Uh, I'll definitely be taking that out with the Saber Spine Tiger this turn. Uh, the question is, can I play something else as well? Uh, I don't think I can. No, I have no possible way, I don't think. If I go over there... Yeah, I don't think I can play the Pharmacist. In that case, I'm going to get rid of the Pharmacist. I know I can play this next turn. Alright, there we have Blood Rage Mask. So, yeah. That's a thing. And I'll try to get a mana thing next turn, a mana spring. Deal some damage. And I get a Thorn Needler and a Promise Fist. Okay, so. Hopefully, he only plays one card this turn, and that would mean he would have six cards in his hand next turn, and I have a huge high hand. That looks like he's playing a bunch of stuff. Ooh, that, that hurts. Six attack. Yeah, I'd like to find this card in the pack as well. It's a legendary, probably won't for a, a while at least. Okay, now I'm basically dead. I have four total health. <laughs> uh... I have just random stuff. I'll get rid of this. Is there any way for me to survive here? There really isn't. I should really just surrender. Um, well, I'll play a 5 drop and I have to somehow survive. Well, this is going to be game. I mean, this is my only way of putting something down. And I guess I will just play the Blood Rage Mask just so I can draw something. Now in the game it's really a close situation where I have to just do whatever I can. But he's going to win. All he needs is one damage. Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, so we won one match with Songhai and then we lost one match just with Songhai. I level up. What do I get? Any new cards? Shockery Avatar. Ooh, I see a lot of people play that. I think I'm going to put that in my deck. It looks like it is pretty good. So, three Chakri Avatars. I like the Mana Forgers. Kaido Assassin, definitely. Do I get rid of Primus Fist? Let's get rid of Crossbones. Um, I don't really see myself playing this uh, Ash Mephit. So, I'll get rid of that, and I guess I'll put in the three Chakra Avatars. Yeah. Out of these guys, also. Oh, I have four wings, Mad God. Whenever you cast a spell, deal one damage to enemy general and restore one health to your general. Should I play this? Um. I probably should, right? bunch of spells. Open Gambit next turn. Your opponent spells cost two more to cast. I don't know. I didn't use the Wind Widowmaker. It's two attack, two three for four. It doesn't seem that powerful. And Jade Monk. Whenever this minion takes damage, deal one damage to a random enemy. I think I'm going to put in both of these. And I will so I take out the three Thorn Needlers. I'm afraid to do that. Actually, really afraid to do that. Uh, let's take out a Primus Fist. Add a Four Winds Magi. Oh, I didn't even see I had Killing Edge. The friendly man plus four two. If your man has backs, I draw a card. Uh, yeah, I definitely want to do that. I want two of those. Sorry, so we got to make some adjustments here. Adjustments to the deck. Uh, looks like we're gonna get rid of these door needlers. Although I really like them, it could do some big damage. I think this is more important, getting these down. Now I have only one four drop. Oh, I'll get this down too. And that should be it. Okay, we still have our five high hands. Okay, so this is slightly different. Uh, yeah, the video's 
uh, about 15 minutes right now. I'll try to squeeze in one more match. It'd be good to win two out of three in the video rather than lose two out of three in the video. So far, I think uh, I've had the most fun playing Vitruvian. I really like just, maybe that's because I have my Mechazord deck in there. That's kind of fun, I'm just piling on the Mechazord features and then getting a Mechazord. But I, don't know, I also really like Vitruvian's Blast mechanic, where you get to sit back and deal damage. Uh, Alright, another Songheim Mirror, this time with Razor Wind. Uh, Lionar, I definitely like, it feels more natural to me. Like, I'm just playing things. Okay, cool. I got, these are the most important guys in my deck. Kaido Assassin, it's my only backstab unit. Okay. So, I have the Blood Rage Mask, Mist Dragon Seal. That, like, all of my, basically, spells really complement the Kaido Assassin. He can just deal so much damage. Oh. He plays a Kaido Assassin. Now, I'm gonna get rid of the Blood Rage Mask. I'm not gonna play that just yet. So move up to, I could get this mana spring, but I don't want him to be able to destroy my Kaido Assassin. So I'm going to put my Kaido Assassin right here. Might not be too smart, but whatever. Phoenix Fire and Killing Edge. Okay, so Phoenix Fire will be able to destroy his Kaido Assassin. I think I'd rather just take him out with my general though. Because next turn, if this Kaido Assassin survives, I have a Mist Dragon Seal and a Killing Edge to play, where this thing can deal a lot of damage to his general. Uh, I kind of wish I kept that artifact now, because that would deal some extra damage and it would cost zero to play. But I guess all these cards are pretty valuable. Sorry you may have heard sounds of my computer here. I got like an email notification I forgot to turn off uh, that before I recorded. Heart Seeker. I see some people use that. Um, maybe I should get that. Okay, he plays that guy. And what spells is he going to play? Please don't kill my... Aw oh, man, he kills my Kaido. Okay, now things are not looking so good. Look at, look at the board. Just look at this board. <laughs> not looking too hot. Yeah, yeah, just just damage me so you can die. Please. Oh man, it doesn't even damage you. Um, I think I want to take this out right now, so I'll play the Phoenix Fire on that. I'm gonna get rid of the Saber Sign Spiel. Speed Seal. Okay, four wins, that guy. So what I'll do here? Unfortunately, I don't demand to play the Phoenix Fire as well, but I'm gonna play it. I have to take this thing out. And I don't need to get the mana spring. I uh, alright, yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna move up and take this thing out. I have to kinda be aggressive because if I don't this thing is kid a range unit that I can't really just leave there. It's only one one actually. Okay, there we go. Kaido Assassin. Most important guy in the deck. If I can manage to somehow get this mana spring. He's probably going to take it this turn, but if I can, I can play both the four wins that I got and the Kaido Assassin next turn. Okay, cool. Nice, he had no play. That is really nice for me. Uh, fortunately, I can't reach his Heart Seeker, which he did pretty well there. I think I'm going to... Should I keep this hand? Yeah, I think this is a hand I should keep. Okay, so let's play that. And I'll play this here. I don't want him to be able to destroy that with his general normal. He does have one attack from this Heart Seeker, so this thing could very well just be destroyed. I'm gonna really hope it can survive though. Inner Focus, okay, so Inner Focus uh, will not really help me for next turn, I don't think. We'll see you another Kaido Assassin. 
because it only air activates minions with three attack or less, and if I give it a Mist Dragon Seal, it goes to four attack. But still, a nice spell to have in the hand. All right, he's retreating, but no, he's moving up there. No, of course, he's just moving back with this ranged creature. All right, so I actually prefer this guy survived as well because uh, then I can. Oh man. So I'm not going to deal any damage to his general, he's going to attack this. So, this is not doing too well. Every time I get some kind of board state, he seems to just deny it. And he has these guys in the back. Alright, I need a... Alright, what I really need here is um, to draw my last Kaido Assassin. Uh, but what do I replace? He has 6 cards, I have to play the high hand. Uh... Killing Edge, Inner Focus, I think we have to get rid of the Killing Edge here. Yeah. Let's see what I can find. Okay, Chakri Avatar. And I can't play it all. So I think I'm going to... Play this. And I'm just going to be really aggressive. I know he can probably win next turn if he has the right cards. He has six cards in hand. Because he can be able to move this and deal a bunch of damage to my general. But I'm just going to take that bet. Seeing as if he doesn't, there's a good chance I win next turn. Well, this guy could die. Yeah, but let's say he survives 8 damage, you're down to 7. 2 damage, down to 5. Yeah, and then I can easily deal damage uh, using the Chakra Avatar with a inner focus and then all this stuff. And a Blood Rage Mask. So I think uh, I have to survive this turn. Maybe it was not wise dealing 2 damage to his general. Maybe I should have looked at my hand first because I might be able to amass that amount of damage without having the help. I don't know. So, let's see. Barring a loss this turn, I play this. Let's see, how much damage can I match with the Chakra Avatar? I can play it. Let's see, how many spells are we playing? Uh, one. One, two, three. So you're going to be, let's see, let's say you have 4 attack, plus 4 attack is going to be 8, plus 3 attack is going to be 11, 12. Okay, you'll have 12 attack. Alright, that's not good for him. But 12 attack, I think that means I'm going to win. Does that mean I'm going to win? Oh, can he? Alright, he's stopping the backstab. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Let's play this. Okay, now I'll play the Chakri Avatar. Go ahead and reactivate him right away. And I will increase his stuff. And I can win. Wow. That is Songhai for you again. So my first win and my third win in this video were kind of similar. Just uh, kind of uh, huge combos. First I had it with the, I think, Kaido Assassin. Now this was, no, actually no, it wasn't. Whatever, this was with the Chalk Avatar I just put in the deck. So I'm very pleased uh, with that. Uh, but I did get one loss in the video to Mogwai, though. He's a very good player. Better than me, at least. And I guess that'll be it. So I'll keep practicing with uh, all three of my factions, and I'll move on to the other ones, trying to just level up, get unlock all the basic cards. So that'll be it for the... Uh... Oh, you know what I just noticed? The top of this... Uh... Top of this video has all of my bookmarks. <laughs> for some reason, the recording wasn't really that... It was kind of weird. Well, whatever. Those are my bookmarks, guys. My bookmarks are. Um, hopefully the client comes out soon so I don't have to play it in Chrome. 
but that'll be it so like the video if you enjoyed subscribe for more content uh, uh follow on twitch and twitter and i'll see you next time keep on dueling duelists